bringer. They don't even make these anymore. This thing's a, it's a, it's an icon, and it's a rare limited edition CDO. It doesn't get any better than that. enough of this badass ride the stance on it the forward controls the, the mini apes it just the ape hangers just feels badass man you know if if they issued one of these to every u.s citizen pfizer would be out of business there'd be no more depression there'd be no uh sleepless nights it's just i don't know you, you get a big smile on your face riding this thing it's a mountain of torque uh, the springer front end actually uh, i've had a bunch of springers i even bought one brand new uh, i bought a bad boy springer back in the day a black and blue one and they actually work pretty damn good this thing is the profile on this the fit and finish this is a show bike make no mistake for you to buy a regular springer and turn it into this you, you'd, you'd spend 20 grand between paint and chrome and the, the big cubic inch motor this has got everything the 110 cubic inch screaming eagle engine it's got the, the, the um, staggered show them the pipes up close on the other side it's got the staggered shotgun exhaust. Look at, the, look at this exhaust system, man. It looks like a Gatlin gun. It's just badass. Everything on this bike is a work of art. Every piece of this bike, and I've owned a bunch of CVOs. I have a turbocharged CVO Dyna. Every time you look at a CVO, look at the front wheel on this thing. It's an absolute work of art. The aftermarket choppers, the fit and finish is pales in comparison to this. Look at the brake system on this. The uh, powder coating on the frame matches the paint job on the tank. The scalped, the scalloped tribal design of the black and blue on the red with the Harley Davidson script logo. The, these are aircraft style gas caps. The center console on this is exclusive just to the CVO Springer. It says custom vehicle operations on it. The speedometer is exclusive to the CVO. The CVO start at 40 grand today. They don't make this model anymore. They're one of the most sought after CVO Harleys ever made for a bunch of different reasons. They look really cool. A lot of them get exported, over, exported overseas. Even in Japan, there's a big market from over there. This has got the, 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 the four inch risers with the apes. Um, all, everything on here came from the factory. It's all original factory chrome controls. It has the CVO tachometer. 
which everything looks brand new on the bike, the fit and finish, all the nuts and bolts. The paint job is impeccable on this. I had my number one detailer, we nicknamed him old school. He's really into Harleys. He loves detailing Harleys. He spent an entire eight hour day on this. And I asked him at the end of the day, did you find any scratches on the paint? And he said, no, there's no, no scratch. There's not a scratch on the paint anywhere on this thing. Um, I said, were there any nicks in the chrome? My, my, my 07, my 07 Screaming Eagle has a little bit of pitting on the chrome. He said, there's no pitting on any of the chrome on the wheels anywhere. He said, if you look closely on the top of the mirror uh, right here, he said, there's one tiny little defect in the chrome right there. That's the only issue we can find anywhere on the bike. It's absolutely freaking spectacular. Look at the cylinders on this thing. These are CVO exclusive. The fit and finish on the cylinders with the polished ends and the silver engine with the chrome CVO 110 cubic inches, six speed. 110 cubic inch, even like the covers for the for the uh, uh, coil, um, the forward controls are all custom. Now, if you bought all these out of a Harley catalog, you would have spent eight to ten thousand dollars just on the parts that are on this bike, and then you got to add on to that the custom paint job. Where, where, who's going to paint? Lay down a paint job like this? This is a five thousand dollar paint job all day long between the frame and tank. So, um, this bike is a classic. It's got low miles on it. It's just been, it's got under, it's got 9,400 miles, which is nothing for this twin cam, and it's been completely gone through. Lance, who just walked up the driveway here, is a Harley PhD engineer. He's an engineer, and he's a Harley PhD, which means he's gone through every course Harley has. Um, he went right through this bike, uh, drained the fuel, put VP ethanol free fuel on it, changed the oil, changed the primary chain case oil, changed the transmission oil. It's got brand new front tires. Show, show front and rear tires, show them the tires up close. These are not cheapos, guys. These are the most expensive tires you can possibly put on a Harley Davidson. These are the Dunlop Harley Davidson. Show them the hairy nubs on it. So got the hairy nubs on it. The rear tire, same thing, brand new. Less, less than 15 miles on the tires, guys. The tires are done, it's got a brand new battery. We just gave it the full 10,000 mile service. All the fuels, all the fluids have been changed. The hydraulic fluid. The brake fluid, it needs nothing, and it's got a brand new battery, and it's got an eight hour, what we call a rotisserie detail, top to bottom, every nut and bolt. Kyle, did I leave anything out? No, this, this bike is just absolutely remarkable, and with what Harley did with the paint on this is just incredible it's to me. It's stunning. I, I don't like any of the new CVO paint schemes. This one turns me on. Dark red with, the, with scallops on there. Um, it's awesome. I mean, who who would think that this bluish purple would go with the orange and the black, and then you got the gold Harley Davidson? Like, who would have thought of that? That's just insane. It, everywhere you look, braided stainless hydraulic clutch lines, braided stainless Goodrich brake lines, braided stainless cables on the throttle cables. Um, every nut and bolt on this is either billet or chromed or polished or painted, and that's the way it came from the factory. The only mods it has are the, the, the bars, which are an absolute freaking 10. Uh, the exhaust system, the new tires, and a couple other small things, but it's uh, it came from the factory right here. This tells the story, custom vehicle operations. When it has that emblazoned on the, the exclusive dash panel, you know you got the best. There's nothing better. And they don't make these anymore, so bid high and bid off. And if you've been dreaming about the world's bad, most badass cars, like I said, what's more American than this? What's more What's more badass than a 110 cubic inch Screaming Eagle Springer? Nothing I can think of.
it don't get no better than this. If you ain't happy with this, you'll never be happy. It needs nothing. Everything's done, guys. Just write a check and ride off into the sunset. Buy yourself the gift. Hey, we're only, what, eight weeks from the Christmas buying season? Buy yourself the gift that'll keep giving for the rest of your life. This is a, this is a lifelong machine right here.